With all the streams of news media coming at us from every direction, I want to report today that we are taking steps in the right direction as it relates to unemployment levels. I'm Patrick Doherty with the Walker team of Ontario Real Estate. Last Friday, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics released their May unemployment situation summary. Leading up to the re release, most experts predicted the unemployment rate would jump up to approximately 20% from the 14.7% rate announced last month. The experts were shocked. The Wall Street Journal put it this way, the May U.S. jobless rate fell to 13.3% and employers added 2.5 million jobs, blowing Wall Street Journal expectations out of the water. Economists had forecast a loss of 8.3 million jobs and 19.5% unemployment rate. In addition, the CNBC revealed the May gain was by far the biggest one-month job surge in U.S. history since at least 1939. Here are some of the, jo the job gains by sector. This slide shows the unemployment sector that has received the largest boost while many of the restrictions are lifted. Most of these should not come as a surprise. Of course, there is still a long way to go before the economy fully recovers as 21 million Americans still remain unemployed. The good news is that the number is down, however, from the 23 million just last month. And of the 21 million in the current report, 73% feel that the layoff is temporary. This aligns with the recent Federal Reserve Bank report that showed employers felt 75% of job losses are temporary layoffs and furloughs. As the unemployment situation summary was definitely a pleasant surprise and evidence that the country's economic turnaround is underway, the data also offers a labour market snapshot from mid-May. With government conducted its monthly survey of households and businesses, many states did not open for business until the second half of May. This bodes well for the next month's job report. The bottom line, we cannot rejoice over a report that reveals millions of American families are still without work. We can, however, feel relieved that we are headed in the right direction as much more quickly than most anticipated. Again, I'm Patrick Doherty with the Walker team of Ontario, and I'm here to educate and navigate, not speculate and fabricate. Follow me and subscribe for more regular updates. Hang on and stay safe, my friends. We are on the way back up.